Hey guys. Um, so I've been thinking and reflecting a lot today about um, the last couple years of my life and how my practice and spirituality and YouTube has played a role in that and how much the ties have changed between six years ago and now. Um, I started, well, I officially signed on and made a, my Piper name on YouTube in 2008, so I would have been 18. Um, but I found YouTube when I was like 16 or 17. Um, when I first started uh, Wicca or Paganism or whatever you whatever you want, at the time it was it was Wicca. When I started practicing Wicca and learning about it back in my preteen years, um, I grasped on to any book or website. I didn't really have internet when I was younger, so I was a little bit older, but. Um, any book that I could get my hands on, which basically meant, you know, asking my mother since I was 11 or 12. Um, the first book that, that she actually got for me was The Craft by Dorothy Morrison. And I read that book cover to cover to cover to cover over and over and over again. Just tried to soak up all the information that I could. And, you know, it, it was great, but I was thirsting for knowledge. Um, so, you know, every Christmas or birthday or whatever, when they asked me what I wanted, I would always ask, you know, I'd say, well, I, I, I want another book. So I got that one and then I got Solitary Witch and then I got, um, the complete book of witchcraft. So I had three huge books to get information from, um, that I, I just read over and over and over again. And, and for the, the complete book of witchcraft, I went through and I did all the lessons and I answered all the questions and, but I still felt like I was lacking. I felt like I needed to have human interaction. I had to have a teacher, you know, somebody that I could ask questions to. You know, you can go online and you can go to forums and stuff, but, and I actually found the Wiccan, Wicca, Witchcraft, and Paganism Forum, which I think is closed down now, which is really sad because I love that, that forum. Um, but I became a part of that and started I'm um, talking back and forth with people, but it still wasn't, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's different to see something in print, like somebody responding back to in print, than it is like actually seeing their face or talking to them. Um, so that helped a little bit, but, you know, I was, I was just, I was lost. I was kind of at a standstill on where to go and what to further and um, I didn't know if I had a sturdy foundation, if I learned everything I should have learned first, if, if there was things that I, that I could keep to learn later, and if other things were more important. I mean, I mean, everybody has different ways of learning things, but I just couldn't, I couldn't grasp all the information. I mean, there's just so, in this practice, you literally learn until until you die. I mean, there's just so much information and you can always be learning something. And that's what's so great about it, but it's also very, very daunting, um, especially for somebody that comes into it solitary and has nobody to help them out or, um, or anything, you know, when you really have to be motivated to learn on your own and to seek the knowledge, which I'm motivated well, I was motivated, but I, I, I also am kind of a people person. Like, I would never want to be in a coven. I'm, I'm good being solitary. I feel like my practice is a very um, solitary, it, it's a very personal path. But at the same time, I like interacting with other people, and I would like learning from somebody else and taking all that information and then using it how I see fit. Um, so when I moved up here, I finally found YouTube, and the first witch that I started following was Tiptoe Chick. Um, I think I actually found her by typing in Wicca, 
I, I typed in something in the search bar and it came up with her her video on is Wicca right for you and I just indulged in the videos that she had and watched all of them over and over again and and I, I absolutely loved her. I mean, she was just so down to earth and so easy to watch. And even though she had all these people that were following her, and still today, you know, she's a, a Wiccan celebrity on YouTube. And she still seems so normal. You know, she just, she's just an everyday person like you and me. Um... But it was just, she was so easy to connect to. So I, she was the first person that I watched. And then in one of her videos, and oops, I kicked my table. In one of her videos, and I, I think, I don't remember the name of it, but it was the one where she was in the back of a car, I think. And she was doing a video. And that's when she mentioned Flora. And I, and I remember it because she she knew for sure that the name of her channel was Char Charming Flora Pixie, and it's Charming Pixie Flora, and that made me laugh. Um, but So then I went and started watching Flora's videos, and she's just so upbeat and so positive and so inspiring in that aspect. You know, when you're down or upset, you watch Flora, and she's just up and happy and going and yay for everything. And, you know, she was, um, she became the second person that I started following on YouTube, um, and those two, Flora and Dee, really became my two teachers. They were, I mean, it, it still wasn't the person-to-person -person interaction that I wanted. You know, I felt like they were too far out of my reach for me to be able to email them any questions that I had. And I definitely wasn't going to, to get a hold of them and be like, please be my teacher, I need to know everything that you know. Um, because I felt like they were Wiccan celebrities, you know, they were... They were just so popular and so big that, you know, all I could basically do was watch them and love them from afar kind of a thing. I know that sounds weird, but I, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so I, I learned everything that I could from watching their videos. Um, and then I moved up here in 089. 10, 2010, um, when I was 20, and I was living actually in the apartment that's like over and downstairs to this one, and um, I was, it wasn't, my relationship was, it was the better relationship of the ones that I've had, because the ones that I've had in the past were pretty horrific, um, but the guy I was with had issues with intimacy. So it was basically like I was living with a roommate. You know, it was really, really hard to connect with him on anything. I mean, he was easy to live with when it came to, you know, we we split up everything with money. We, um, you know, we both enjoyed video games, but we'd both go and do our own thing. Um, I would go out and hang out with other people. He'd go hang out with other people. It, it he We'd go to bed at different times. I mean, we just had absolutely no intimacy at all. And that was very rough. Um, cause I had moved him, both of us moved up from three hours away. His whole family was down there. My whole family was down there other than my immediate family, which moved up here, which is why we moved. So I felt like I couldn't leave him because I had moved him away from everything. Um, so I was very, very alone up here. Uh, I, I felt very, very alone. And so... Their videos and watching them really, really helped me get through that rough patch in my life. Um, finally, you know, I met Kevin and uh, just figured out, I, I mean, it. when you find your soulmate, you know it. I mean, it just gets you right here and you just know with 100% certainty that that's the person that you, you have to be with. Um, so couple years down the road, um, well, actually it was like a year and a half down the road, <laughs> um, you know, Kevin and I are now, we moved into this apartment in March, yes, March of this year, um, and, you know, I started my YouTube channel, but before that, he got a hold of D and got together this big birthday present for me, a big old 
herb starter kicks. I was really getting into herbs with watching these videos and stuff. She really got me into herbs. And I, I really wanted to study herbalism. I didn't know what to do for it. So he's the one that actually uh, got a hold of D. They put all kinds of stuff together. I have a video on it. Um, and that act is what got D and I talking. And now, I mean, she, this woman that I followed and loved, you know, way back when, and she was just this amazing teacher, is now one of my best friends. You know, we talk weekly, and that is just such a gift to me. So I have D, who um, I really wanted to be my teacher when it came to, to herbs, because she obviously is the herb queen. I'm now taking an herbalism class, like a full herbal, I think it's six months. I'm pretty sure it's a six month course. Um, and I, we're a couple months into this full course on herbalism that I get to take with Dee, who I never thought I'd be, you know, I'd get to talk to or anything. And now we're BFFs and I'm taking an herbalism course with her. Um, so that is just from six years ago, watching her videos over and over and over again to knowing that, you know, in five minutes, if I wanted to, I could give her a call and we'd chit chat for an hour is just awesome. It is so, so cool. Um, and then Flora, you know, I watched all of her videos and I watched her grow from, you know, back from video one up to, you know, video 400 and some, and she started her business and, you know, she, she kind of grew into more of a, um, business woman. Um, and you know, she's got all her stuff going on. And I always said, and, and I think it was, it was last year, Kevin and I were at my parents' house because I had to move in there before we could move out again. So I was downstairs and I was looking when her website was still the yay factor. And I was looking at her video or at her classes and I said, oh my God, she offers a full year and a day program. And that is, that's been my dream. I've always wanted to do a year and a day program with a teacher. And to have it with somebody that I've been following for years would have been fantastic. But I, I think it was like a couple hundred dollars a month and there's no way that I could have that I could afford it. I understood why it was as much as it was because it's a lot of work and I get that. But for me, it just wasn't in the cards when I was going to school and had work and had all this other stuff and I was saving up to move out and there's just no way I could have did it. Well, now um, her, she's still doing her web-based year-in-a-day program, and the last day to sign up for it is October 31st in, like, actually, it's exactly a week. Um, so tomorrow, I'm signing up for her year-in-a-day program because she dropped it to $350 for the full year, and Kevin and I talked it over, and he also thinks that it's a good idea that I sign up for that as well. Um, because I really, really want, I, this is something I've always wanted to do and to take it with somebody that I've been following for so long and that has such credibility behind all of her stuff is, you know, I mean, there's nothing better. So I, I don't really know, I guess I just kind of wanted to reflect on where I was six years ago watching these two amazing women to you know, wishing and hoping that I was going to have teachers to now, you know, six years later, being best friends with Dee and, and her teaching me about herbalism and I have all kinds of herbs and I'm, I'm helping out with me and, you know, me and Kevin's lives are, are improving because we're using herbs more and more in our daily life. Um, and then in the, my spiritual side, in my actual the craft and, and my practice, I know that I'm finally going to be able to take the full year and a day program with somebody and have that structure and that human interaction that I've been looking for um, with the two people that, you know, I, I've started. They were basically my, my teachers back how many years ago, and now they are actually my full, like, one-on-one -on -one teachers. So... I'm just, I just think it's so awesome how, how everything turned out and I am just so, so happy with the way everything's going and, 
And when I, I take those days that I'm stressed out and work pisses me off and, and people piss me off and, and everything just makes me angry, it's kind of nice to sit and think about everything that I really have going on for me and the fact that if it wasn't for D, I wouldn't probably wouldn't even have a successful YouTube channel because honestly, without her, um, I don't think anybody would have even found my channel. And now, you know, I almost have a thousand subscribers. I have people that actually care what I say. It's just, it's really, it's really, really cool. And I am very, very happy with where my life is and where it's going. And I'm very excited to see what the next couple years have in store for me. So, um, I guess it's just a little, little reminiscent thing going on. 16 minutes worth of worth of reminiscing so anyway I am off to work and I hope that you guys have a fantastic Tuesday bye